Uh, we are here with uh, Jeffrey Kang, CEO of uh, Coco Bay and Engdan China. And uh, let me ask you a few questions about Engdan and your life. Well, so the first one is, uh, what's your philosophy for a company, and in particular for Coco Bay and Engdan? Uh, in Dan, we are uh, the largest uh, internet company serving the internet of things. It's a specific industry. So um, our job is to uh, use the internet platform to link the global IoT innovators with the China-based manufacturer resources and to help them to convert their crazy ideas into the real products. And also, we have uh, the millions of the fans in China. So that's why we also can help them to sell their brand and sell their brand the products into the Chinese market. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, second one is, who decides which projects are accepted, both China and Italy? Um, you know, we are running an open platform. Everyone can register on our website. Okay. So we are letting the market, you know, to choose if you are a good one or not. You are not a good one. Okay. So uh, we don't play the judge role. The market, the consumer, feedback. Yeah, you know, play the role. So there's a we develop a C to B business model, okay. and also we all want to offer a fair and open ecosystem, fair to everyone. So as a platform, we only offer in a platform. We don't. We don't play a role like a judge, but we make one thing. Everything has to be original one. We give yep. you quality of the service. Yes. So, uh, what is the role of in Indan Italy? Um, because right now, Indan is already the largest platform in China. Yep. So we are want to expand this platform in, uh, for the international uh, expansion. Yep. In the Italy is our first step getting into the European market. So in the Italy here. We are running as a, just like any other Italian company. So in that Italy, it's an Italian company. Every employee is a local it, hire. Okay. So we want to just uh, you know uh, give them a target. In next 12 months, since the, this uh, announcement, they will find you know help over 2,000 of the Italian local SME companies. Oh, okay. Help them be successful. Oh, okay, perfect. So uh, how do you see in done in five years from now? Well, okay, you can make a provision. <laughs> uh, Indan is only less than two years in the history. Yeah, yeah. We are already the largest platform in in, 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 in in China. As of today, we have over 2,000 of IoT companies in the register online, and we help them link them with over 4,000 of the manufacturing customers based in China. Yes. And we also already have the four million of the you know, fans already there. So our target is you know we want to develop the not just the global platform. So make that you know innovators, no matter you are in Sicily, in Milano, or Lake Como, you can enjoy use the internet to access the global resources which used to be only enjoyed by the, by the enterprises. Yeah, by the uh, you know 4,500 companies. Yeah. So we yeah. just kind of the democratize you know the whole IoT industry. Okay, so you know here in Italy we have Fab Labs, uh, the highest concentration. So how do you think Fab Labs will take advantage from the network and the platform? Um, you know, for the innovation, we 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 bring them down in the most of the three parts, and uh, in the bottom is more like a jig, so it's like an innovation. Yes. So so I think the Fab Lab is mostly working for those kind of the people. Yeah. But uh, once you get a higher level, so you will become a startup company, and a small you know small yes. company. So then. Then you have to think about the end of products at a scale, as kind of yes. and you need to move higher, you become the SME company. So if you're fortunate enough, you will become next to Google. That's the <laughs> final, yeah, uh, yeah. final in the target. So I think you know in done, just kind of we bring the scale, bring the efficiency yeah. to this uh, you know to this uh, innovation uh, uh, innovation. So so that's why I think after having in done, I think it is a fab lab will have the more efficient. Yeah. They all the Fab Lab will become our partners in, uh, in, in, in this space. Be awesome, yes. So, uh, your network will be a big up for little startups. Do you think this will change their structure? Because you help with some changes. So, I think it's it, it gonna uh, change the structure of, for example, their roles in the startups. Yes, you are. You, you make the point. So that's, that's the, the point. That's the difference between the old economy and the new economy. Oh, yes. So, you know, 
know, in all the economy, the basic rule is that you know, the bigger fish, you know, the, you know, the, the big fish is the small fish. So the bigger, yes. the better, right? So, yes. but in a new economy, the game rule is changing. So we are talking about, you know, so we are, we are this is a kind of a new sharing economy yeah, uh, for, yeah, the, for, for the new economy. So that's why the most important thing for running the new economy business, business is not how big you are no. and how much money you have, it's how, you know, how you, you, you can innovate. Yeah, innovation. These are kind of ideas, yes. for, you know, and creative. So that's why, so we will want to make the you know, companies focus on their core, is the innovation. Yeah. So let the market, you know, they use the sharing economy and the resources to help them. So like, for example, if your idea is good, so I can help you find the right manufacturers, yes. and an investor can easily find you, so you, your end of products can reach the millions of the people, so you don't even need to go out of the city, you can reach yeah. all these resources. So that's the what we call the sharing economy supposed to be. Sharing manufacturers as well. Yes, so those resources used to be what for iPhone, what for you know, Cisco, yeah. but now this resource is the open everyone. for everyone. Every startup. So, well, do you think this is uh, a little bit tough question? Do you think the network, the platform, will eventually reach Italian startup accelerators? Of course, yeah. We don't view, uh, view this as uh, kind of a competition. Our job in the internet it's is good. open. It's, uh, you know, we all, we offer it, you know, so that's why we're talking about. So we're actually, we're developing an open and uh, collaborative and fair ecosystem. So we don't want to reject anybody. So whoever you know, can offer their best, best service, you know, and to the, our innovators, we, we will welcome them. So that's our, you know, the basic principle for running the internet model is awesome. Yes, so that's all. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Thanks very much. <laughs>